So the short and long-term consequences of threats. So the first one is we're going to look at resources. Resources, and what we mean by that is your staff and your equipment, which you need in order so that you can actually recover your data or recover your hardware, which has been broken. That's a consequence of a threat. The second is actually that the business which you work for may have to pay compensation to customers or suppliers based on the threat. The third, big financial losses due to loss of business. So imagine a company can't take any orders at the moment for their website because the website's not working, because the server's gone down, because the server's been damaged in a tornado. So you lose business. Not only do you lose business, you can actually lose public trust. And that public trust can cause embarrassment or even a loss of business for that company. Also, you could be prosecuted under the Data Protection Act. So let's imagine that your data got stolen. Not good. This could lead to things like bankruptcy. So that is a consequence of a threat. And also, not as bad as bankruptcy, but you do have to pay money. There's a cost in replacing equipment due to damage, especially. So all of these are short and long term consequences of the different threats a company could face. Interesting.